Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 381. Day number 381 and today we'll talk about a concept that is very straightforward, very simple and yet here we are, we'll talk about it, you have to be, you have to be patient and, uh, and wait until the, at the end, see, see what you can learn here even though it's, as I said it's a very simple concept, the concept is simple average. Of course everybody knows how to find the average, How everybody knows how to find a simple average but as I said if you are a little uh, if, uh, be a little patient and you will see where we are going with it. So let's, let's take a look at the first problem. The question simply is, the question simply is, what is the average of 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23? Well, do what you have to do and see what you, see what you come up with. The average of 15, 17, 19, 20, 21, and 23. Pause the video if you, if you wish to, if you haven't done it so, because I'm about to start to solve. Well, the simple thing, which, you, which is what everybody does, is to simply add up, as we are taught, 15 plus 17 plus 19 plus 21 plus 23, and divide by 5, and find out the average, which is the traditional way, the orthodox way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the academic way. The quick way is to understand that as long as the numbers are evenly spaced, as long as the numbers are evenly spaced, which they are here. It goes up by the same increment from 15 to 17 is an increase of 2, then plus 2 gives us 19, the other 2 gives 21, as long as the other 2 will give us 23. As long as the numbers are evenly spaced, the average is simply the middle number. The average is simply the middle number, which is what we call the median. Median is same as the average as long as they're evenly spaced. So average here would be 19. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Number two. Question is, what's the average of 15, 17, 19, 21, and 24? What if we, what if we were presented with something like this? 15, 19, 17, 15, 17, 19, 21, and 24. Would we sit there and add them all up? No. First thing we'll check, first thing we always do in the, in the, in the exam when we are asked to do any kind of average is to see if the number, numbers are evenly spaced. And if they are not, ask yourself, what is the odd thing here? How is, it, how, are, how is it that they are not evenly spaced? What's the problem here? Well, the problem here is that this 24 should have been 23. Had it been 23, then of course the average would have been 19. But it's not 23, it is one more than that, it's 24. Instead of 23, it is 24. So what are we going to do with that extra one? But that extra one has to be divided among how many people? One, two, three, four, five people. There you go, the new average is simply 19 and one fifth. The 19 and one fifth. Think of this, if it is, makes it easier for you, think of, it, think of this in, in terms of money. So first person is $15, second person is second person is $17, $19, $21. Had this person, the last person, if he had $23, the average amount would have been $19. But he has $25, $24. He has a dollar extra. But take the dollar extra and divide it equally among the five people, giving us the average of 19 and 1 fifth. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This one, you do it yourself. Number three, you're going to do it yourself. What's the average of? Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and thirty-five. As you can see again, clearly, that they are evenly spaced. The numbers are evenly spaced. They go up by the exact same increment. Twenty to twenty-five is five in increase of five, then thirty and then thirty-five. The average in this case is going to be the median. Except here, 
we have odd number of numbers. So median is going to be the average of these two. The number that falls exactly between 25 and 30 is 27 and a half. But what if they had given us, what if they ask us, what if what if they ask us what's the average of not 20, 25, 30, and 35, but if you happen to see instead of 30 instead of 35, if you happen to see 38. What we do now? Well, we should realize immediately that this 30th is simply three more than what should have been the natural sequence. The natural sequence would have been 20, 25, 30, 35. Instead of 35, we have 38. We have three extra. What do we do with the three extra? Well, divide it. Divide it among, divide it equally among the number of people. There is a new, there is a new average. The new average is 27 and a half plus three quarter. Half plus half is one plus one quarter. So it looks like it's 28 and a quarter. That's your new average. That's your new average. And this, when I change the number, that was problem number four. Now let's do the very last one. What I want you to do for the very last one is that as soon as I finish setting up on the blackboard, I want you to pause the video immediately and do it yourself. Okay, there we go. Give me a break one more time. Give me, give me a second one more time. And the last one is exactly how you can expect to, uh, for, for, for this concept to appear in the exam. Typically it appears as a quantitative comparison question. Here is your column A, here is your column B, and we're being asked to compare, and you're going to do it yourself, as I said, as soon as I set it up, as soon as I set it up, as soon as I finish writing it, pause the video, do it yourself. In column A, it's asking us to compare five times the average of 15, 17, 19, and 22. Five times the average of 15, 17, 19, and 22. And here we are asked to and we are asked to compare this quantity with this quantity, which is the average of 87, 89, 91, 93. I'm running out of room here. And 96. Fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, and twenty-two versus the average of eighty-seven, eighty-nine, ninety-one, ninety-three, and ninety-six. Pause the video one more time. Eighty-seven, eighty-nine, ninety-one, ninety-three, ninety-six, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-two. Five times the average of these four numbers versus the average of these five numbers. I'll give you five seconds. For you to be able to do just that, which is to be able to pause and then pause the video. When you have done so, resume the video and then we'll compare your work against the work that we will do together. Okay? Here we go. Well, the first one is very straightforward. It's very straightforward because had it been 20, instead of 21, had it been, instead of 22, had it been 21, had it been 21, in that case, in that case, they would have been, they would have been evenly spaced. 15, 17, 19, 21. In that case, the average would have been the middle of these two numbers. The middle of those two numbers is 18. The problem is, we don't have 21, we have 22. We have one more than we needed. Oh, what do we do that one more? I divide that one more among the four people. There we go, this is your average. 18 and a quarter. And they want five times that amount. They want five times that amount. So we have to figure out five times this amount, which is very straightforward. Five times 18. Five times 18. How much is five times 18? I don't know what five times 18 is. I do know what 10 times 18 is. 10 18s are 180. That I do know. 10 times 18 is 180. Therefore, five times 180 should be half of that, which is 90. Which is 90. And how much is five quarters? Well, believe it or not, believe it or not, five quarters are five quarters, which can be written as 91 and a quarter. Because we take away four quarters from here, which makes a whole. So 91 and a quarter is the answer in this column. Don't forget it. Let's work on this column. You see, 87, 89, 91, 93, aha. If we had a 95, the life would have been so much sweeter. In that case, the average simply would have been 91. 
and we simply should have, would have been 91. But we don't have 95, alas, we have 96. Well, what do we do with that extra one? But take that extra one and divide it equally among the number of people. We have five people. There we go. 91 and a quarter versus 91 and one fifth versus 91 and one fifth. 91 and a quarter versus 91 and one fifth. Of course, a quarter is more than a fifth. The answer is eight. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.